Howdy, my name is Aaron. I'm currently a spring 2022 intern at Oilfield Basics, and I'm also a senior at Texas A&M University studying petroleum engineering. Today, I'm we're going to be covering some of the advices that I wish I could tell my younger freshman self going to college. Cue the intro. things we're going to touch upon is passion. Now, we've all heard the saying, you know, we need to find a passion for whatever we do. Well, one of the first things I've learned about passion is that sometimes passion doesn't grow overnight. It takes time and understanding for it to develop. And there were things I was just tempted to avoid as a freshman or even a sophomore just because I was uncomfortable with something. I didn't get something right away or I don't necessarily agree with some of the people I'm working with. But once I made the decision to have a little bit of patience to invest the time to understand that something or someone, I quickly realized that I had more questions than answers by the end of the day. And that's when curiosity truly begins to spark. That's when true learning begins to happen. And now I'm pursuing a minor in geology and pursuing a certificate in the Petroleum Ventures program at Texas A&M just because I chose not to give up on the difficult things. You may not necessarily find your reason or purpose right away, but no, that's okay. That takes time. And patience and seeking understanding of both knowledge and people is one of the best ways that will set you up for success in whatever endeavors that you pursue. The next thing I want to touch upon is focus on starting out strong. Focus on performing well in your classroom, your academics, because one of the first things that companies look out for when hiring people for internships is how well do you perform as a student and how do they evaluate that? Well, the cumulative grading point average. If you really want to pursue that first internship, that's one of the first things that companies are going to look out for. Keep note of all your class projects. Be able to recall them in interviews and resumes and be able to connect them to the real world. The lessons that you learn, what's the big picture concepts, what are you looking forward to do because of that project. Research your classes beforehand. Listen to what your peers are telling you about what certain professors you have so that you can make a game plan to tackling those challenges. Work hard, but also work smart. You know, we all heard the saying, life is about balance, right? Anticipate problems before they happen. Add responsibilities gradually over time. Once you identify where you're going, start by taking the initiative to learn things that are outside of your classroom, such as technical software training, workshops, participating in field tours, rig tours, undergoing mock interviews, resume reviews from the Career Center or even your own uh, professional student orgs that they're offering like SPE or AADE. Research as many fields within petroleum engineering because there's a lot of roles that you can fill as much of a specific discipline that people make petroleum engineering out to be. You know, we're talking drilling, reservoir, refining, production, investment banking. Maybe reach out to a professor who has been in that industry and talk about what are his or her favorite things working as a practicing engineer um, in that role and maybe even talk about a relevant research opportunity of your interest. Expanding on professional growth, EIT certificate. Definitely take the FE as soon as you can. Maybe pursue other certificates that are offered by maybe your own student orgs. Probably the most important thing, people skills, communication, teamwork. Some of the things that you can work on is learning how to communicate technical ideas to your superiors. Maybe learning how to conflict manage. And the, one of the best ways you can do that is Put yourself in a position where you're consistently working with people. Learn to work and associate with the people who don't necessarily agree with you. This will teach you to be adaptable and resilient in the way how you communicate and the way how you take charge of people. Learn to use failures and setbacks as learning opportunities for professional growth. And not just see them as just an obstacle that you have to get rid of your way. So some of the things that you can take out from this video are patience, hard work and excellence, initiative, and leadership. Um, having the courage to take the initiative to put yourself in uncomfortable situations is one of the best ways for growth for anything that you do. Um, and I truly believe with all these values and fundamentals, anybody has the resources at their disposal to succeed at whatever they do.